what we've talked about for this is we could maybe break this up into the summer difference formulas, right? We could possibly break that up into summer difference formulas. Or what we could also do is break it up using half angle formulas. So if I was going to break this up into half angle formulas, then I could say that sine of 95 is equal to the sine of u over 2. And let's just try that. So if u over 2 is equal to 195 degrees, that means u is equal to 195 times 2, which ends up equaling 390. Now, can I evaluate on the unit circle 390 degrees? Well, let's do that. 360 is all the way around. How much more do I need to get to go to 390? 30 degrees. So in reality, I'm really just doing 30 degrees. Yes? Do you agree with me? So really, the reference angle in this case is really just 30 degrees. So if I want to use this half angle formula to evaluate, I obviously um, I need to use my uh, I need to use my formula. So it's plus or minus. Is it one minus cosine of u divided by two for sine? Yes. Okay. Now remember I talked about the plus or minus. Here's where the plus or minus was going to kind of come in. Now that you guys, if you guys look at what quadrant 195 degrees is on. 195 degrees is in the which quadrant? 195 degrees, not u. Third quadrant. Is sine positive or negative in the third quadrant? Negative. So your formula is going to be negative. Now we just need to figure out the cosine of 30 degrees, which is going to be cosine of 30 degrees is going to be square root of 3 over 2. Now again, guys, what I would prefer to do is get rid of my denominator too. So what I'm going to do, Madison, is multiply everything on the top and the bottom by 2. By doing that, I get 2 minus the square root of 3 over 4, which I can break up into negative square root of 2 minus the square root of 3 all over the square root of 4. Can I now take the square root of 4? So my final answer would look just like that. It's a square root inside of a square root, and then divided it by 2.